All right, one of the first steps you need to do is get your valve stem through your half inch hole. Now do that, it's really easy. Put it from the inside of your uh, end cap to the outside, and then you're gonna need to pull it through, and that's what the pliers are for. It also helps if you have a rag so that you can grab without marring up your um, valve stem. You just wanna pull that and force it through. It may take a little work, Once you get it all the way through, there's a, a little rim you'll see pop out. You can check by continuing to pull, and it should be well seated within the end cap. And that'll now hold the pressure that you need to launch the rocket. Now this is what we'll be building next. This is half of the base of your launcher. I'm going to show you how to build one real quick. If you've never used uh, PVC cement before, basically what you do is put just a little bit of this purple primer on here. Now this stuff smells really bad, and so you want to do it either in a well-ventilated area or it's best and easiest to just do it outside because it can also drip and make a bit of a mess. Once you, got, you have the primer on, it'll dry fairly quickly and you can add some cement. It doesn't take much, but you do want to coat it all the way around. And then you'll put on one of your end caps and twist it about a quarter turn and you'll fill it lock and it'll get to where you can't even move it fairly quickly. And that'll make the sill, and that's the basis of, of putting the pipe together. And what you want to do is put an end cap on two pieces. You can see here that one of these has my valve stem in it. It doesn't matter where that piece ends up. Now because you don't want the glue to clog your valve stem, tip the PVC downward like this as it dries so that any extra glue will drip out rather than in your fitting. And then last, we'll glue a T between these two pieces, as we did over here, and put an additional piece in that T. And that's how you make your two T sections. All right. The next thing we want to do is put a slight bulge in our long piece of PVC. This will be what the, the water bottle seals against when you go to launch it. So what you're going to do is get out your candle if you have one, or have someone else hold the lighter for just a few minutes. I'll light my candle here. And again, make sure you do this in an area that's away from anything that's flammable and also well ventilated. Apparently it's too well ventilated because the candle doesn't want to stay lit. Alright, we're having a hard time keeping our candle lit, so I'm going to have a buddy hold the lighter for me. <laughs> and we'll show you how this is done. You want to be patient and keep rotating this as we heat it up. You need the entire um, circumference to be warm. That'll make the PVC pliable. We've got that reference line at 10 inches that we know we're in the right spot. And don't touch the PVC too nearly where you're, touch, where you're heating it. Looks like it's soft enough. I'm just gonna take and put pressure on that while it cools. And you can see it puts a slight bulge in it. You need to hold that and try to keep the PVC as straight as possible. And as that cools, that bulge will become permanent. And you only need it to be ever so slight because the, the diameter of the PVC is already nearly perfect to, to seal against the bottle. See, as that cools, it becomes rigid again. And that's how you get the seal. Here we have our long section of pipe, and we just showed you how to put the bulge in it. Now that we've done that, we want to continue building our launch platform. Uh, you want to make sure that the the end from which you measure 10 inches is upward, and then we're going to glue it down to this third T that we had. And that's our main launch rail. Alright, the next step now is to glue one of our T's to our launch rail. Now, I forgot to mention earlier, but while you're getting this bulge in your launch rail, you may want to grab your bottle and check that it makes a good seal. We've done that and it looks good. 
So now we're ready to glue it here. Now what we're going to do is use our square to help us get this perfectly vertical, or nearly so. It doesn't have to be exact. Uh, in fact, if, if you want, you can put a slight angle in it to have your rocket launch a little bit farther downrange. But I'm going to do mine vertical today. So I'm real quickly going to add cement, and because it dries fairly fast, I'm going to have to put that on, rotate it a quarter turn, and then hold it vertical while it dries. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You want to do that on a nice flat surface so that you can see that it's vertical. As you can see, we're pretty close, definitely close enough. So Now we'll let that dry for just a second, and then we'll add on our second tee. All right, now we want to put in our tee that has the valve stem in it and attach it to our launch rail. Now, if you have a preference, make sure that you turn this to whichever side you want it on. It, it really doesn't matter at, at this point. Now, you want to do this on a flat surface so that your two tees are nice and flat and square. Give that an extra minute to dry uh, while we move on to some of the other steps. All right, the next step is to make your trigger mechanism. The way we're going to do that is use these wire ties to grab onto this flange of the bottle when it's on the launch rail. Now this is just a scrap piece of PVC I have. Uh, you can use your launch rail or any other piece of one half inch PVC for this next step. We're just going to use it as a reference. You also need some duct tape, a permanent marker, six medium zip ties, and it's helpful to have a ruler. So what we're going to do first is take a piece long enough that it'll fit around the uh, tube at least once. We're just going to wrap that all the way around and lay it back on itself. And then we're just going to mark with our permanent marker where those two, where that end meets the rest of the tape. And then we'll pull that off. And that's our reference for the uh, circumference of the pipe. Then we'll set that aside. And what we want to do is use these zip ties and we're going to lay them with the large end facing up from the table and we're going to put one right at our mark and you want to go most of the way down the zip tie now we'll clip this at the end but you want a good uh, five inches or so here and then what you want to do is put a second one at the other end and you can use this ruler to help you keep them aligned well so that they all uh, fit against the flange evenly. And you're going to try to to space these evenly, all six of them, across the duct tape. Next step, before we put our zip ties on the launch row, we're going to take this uh, band clamp, use your flat head screwdriver to loosen it uh, all the way so you can slide it down on your launch row. Then we're going to take our two liter bottle that we'll eventually use as a rocket and slide it over. Now you want to seat it on the bulge. Don't force it on farther than it needs to go. Just push it down until it feels like it's a good seal. And we're going to use that as a reference height. You'll now take your zip ties, which you've lined up with the ruler, on your duct tape. And we're going to wrap those around. And we're going to slide those down until they just sit right on uh, the, that lip, that flange on the bottle. And then once you get it to where it sits just right, You'll wrap your duct tape around and stick it to the launch rail right there. Now you want to take your extra 2 liter bottle, and we're going to use this as a spring for our launch mechanism. What you want to do is if you have a box cutter, it helps to get a slit started with that. Then once that's, once you've cut into the bottle, you go and cut it around. We're going to go ahead and use our Sharpie, or other permanent marker with our uh, one and a quarter inch couple. And we're gonna take this and put it roughly in the center. And what you wanna do is trace the inside of that onto your spring. Then we're gonna take a spare piece of pipe or you can turn your rocket launcher upside down and use it. And we're gonna trace on the other end, the outside of your one half inch pipe. And then on the small circle, we wanna trace another extra eighth inch or so around that it's going to need to fit over the zip ties as well. And then, lastly, draw a line down the center. So now we're going to cut out our circles. Start with the top one. As you can see, I put a slit in it by doing this. 
that'll help us get our scissors in. And you're just gonna cut this out. And there we go, we have the big hole done. Now the smaller hole, we don't want to cut out the entire circle. What we want to do is cut it into semicircles, but we're going to leave a little portion in the middle so that our flap hangs down. Now you'll see that there's a flap and that'll hold our spring in place in the band clamp. I'll go ahead and cut the other side here. So the next step is to take our spring and slide it over our launch rail. Now if these zip ties won't fit through this hole, you can widen it a little bit and we'll go ahead and slide it down. And then what we want to do is pull our spring down and then we're going to fasten our band clamp over these flat, these little flaps that we've left hanging down from our spring. This fitting, which is the release mechanism, will slip over top and this spring will keep it up in a safe position holding the rocket onto the launch rail until we pull it down. So I'll go ahead and, and fasten this band clamp. So now to make our firing mechanism, we uh, take that one and a quarter inch coupling and drill a small hole. Now I've drilled a one eighth inch hole. It's really easy to do in PVC because it's so soft. And then you're going to take your nylon string and thread it through that hole and tie it off. Now it likes to fray so it helps to warm the end with a, a match or a lighter just to seal it off. Once you get that tied on there good, we're going to put it over our launch rail, over the zip ties, and you'll see that it sits on this spring now. And then take your string and thread it down through both holes, and it should fit through both of them easily because they were able to fit over the zip ties. You're going to thread that down through both holes and then that will be what we pull on to launch the rocket. Now what I typically do is just run it under one side of the PVC and then you can see that if you stand to this side of the rocket and pull, your firing mechanism releases. Now that the launcher is done, to fire a rocket simply put your bottle over the launch rail, pull down on your firing mechanism until you get the rocket seated and the zip ties are over the flange and your spring should hold it up firmly against the rocket to keep it from firing while you pressurize it. Hook a bike, bike pump up to your um, valve stem and then you're ready to fire just by pulling the string and you'll see that it's really easy to do. Well we've enjoyed having you and showing you how to build a, a water bottle rocket launcher. Please check us out on, on Facebook and Twitter and feel free to post any questions you might have to our Facebook account or in the uh, comments below. Glad to have you with us and we'll see you next time.